Hello, friends. Good afternoon. I hope you are all doing well in this uh, pandemic time. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up Kali Linux in AWS. So for this Kali Linux, basically, this is a, a Debian based uh, Linux, which is used for more mostly penetration testing, forensic analysis, vulnerability analysis, vulnerability analysis, oh, it's tough to pronounce. So uh, in short, in a simple word, mostly to test whether your website is vulnerable or not, or whether your network is vulnerable or not. Mostly hackers also can use it to hack your system. So um, why do we need to use Kali Linux? Because we build web applications and using Kali Linux, there is a lot of pre-installed tools which you can use to find a vulnerability or you can do penetration testing for your web application or your mobile apps. So let's get, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I am in my AWS management console. So let's go to EC2. Then I'm going to launch a new instance uh, in the EC2. Let's launch it. Then I'm going to search for uh, Kali Linux in the search box. So you see there are some uh, results in AWS Marketplace and also in Community AMIs. I'm going to use this uh, Kali Linux in the AWS Marketplace, which is uh, Kali Linux updated on 6.1.21. So let's go. Um, this is a marketplace. You need to subscribe this uh, image to use this. There is no additional cost for using this software. It's only the hardware cost is displayed. And if we use T2 Micro, we will then be within the free tier. Okay. So uh, let's continue. I already subscribed previously, so it will work fine for me. But if, if this is first time for you, it might take some time to subscribe to this image. So I'm going to use T2 Micro because I am, I want to stay within the free tier. So net, click next. I keep everything as it is, just I will use the SSM at storage, all fine, at tags, next configure security group. Let's just uh, use it for any IP, that's fine. Let's review and launch. I'm going to create a new keep here. So, Kali Linux. I'm going to download the keep here and launch instance. Okay. So, as I said, it might take some time. Meanwhile, what I do is create a PPK file. So, I will use PuttyGen to uh, create this PPK file. Now you may ask why I don't use console here. Okay, good that you asked. Uh, the reason is um, this is Kali Linux and there is no SSM agent installed. That means you cannot use console for the first time. What I will going to do is I will generate the PPK file, log in via PuTTY, install the SSM agent, and then log into using console. Anyway, so let's uh, click load, and then I'm going to search for so all of this. Here is the current Linux .pem. Okay. Save a private key. Yes. I'm going to put it here. Kali Linux. 
So that's that's it. Then I go to view instances. It is still initializing. That's good. I copy the IP addresses. Then I open Putty. So then uh, the user that I'm going to log in as is Kali. So remember, this is not EC2 user, it's Kali. Then I save it here as Kali. In the auth, I show the path for the PPK file. Okay, let's save this. And uh, let's open. Amazing. So there we are. Now, this is not GUI, so it's terminal based, but that doesn't matter because we are going to use some tools that's completely terminal based. So let, uh, let's sudo SEO, go to root. I'm in root, clear the screen, that's it. So first of all, I'm going to install the SSM agent. Uh, search install SSM agent in Kali Linux. The process is simple. What I will do is just um, it's uh, Debian. It's not Ubuntu, but it's Debian. So first, uh, I create an TMP directory. Okay, then uh, I will go to that temp directory. That's been cleared. Okay, so um, let's paste it again. Yeah, okay. I switched to my network. There are some problems over there. Let me reconnect again. I'm here on Putty. Talk to Kali. Open. Oh, sorry, load. And that button. Okay, then I go run this command. So do SEO. Okay. Then uh, what I'll do is just copy this dev file. So w get I have downloaded then I will just run this uh, sudo dpkg command this is actually for installing this step to this operating system So that's done. Then uh, let's check the status. Uh, it's active running. So um, we can just enable this so that it starts automatically if system reports. That's it. So we're done. Let's close this. Why? Because I want to ensure that I can connect from this terminal and then I will uh, shut down this
So I will shut down this tool, save it. That's it. So my instance is not accessible from anywhere. It is, even though it's internet connected, but it's not accessible from anywhere. And I can only connect it from this shell, shell terminal. Make it bigger. Okay. So why? Because it's secure. No one can connect to this instance without me. I just log into AWS console and then log in here. As you can see, there is no inbound rule written. It's all nothing. So no one can connect here. It's most secure. But it can go to our site. Uh, okay, so first uh, let's do SU. Then uh, I'm going to apt get uh, update. So it will update the apt packages. Then um, why we use Kali Linux? Uh, because uh, it has some pre-built tools inside this. And what are those tools? So let's go to Kali.org and then um, where we go, we want to go to Kali tools documentation. Kali Linux penetration testing tools. And if we go to the list, here you see this long list of tools that's already installed. For example, you have SQL map, uh, SQL ninja, you have WP scan. Let's go to WP scan. It says WP scan is a black box WordPress vulnerability scanner that can be used to scan remote WordPress installations. Sounds amazing. So WordPress. We all use WordPress for blogging, websites, even small e-commerce applications also on our WordPress. And you can scan any of WordPress uh, installation using this WP scan package. It's already installed. So let's see if we run WP scan. As help, uh, it will show me all the help. Did I paste everything correctly? I do. So here it is. All those things that we can do using WP scan is given here. Um, why don't we trust try something here? So we need to give an URL using URL parameter and we need to uh, do something. Let's say uh, URL uh, example.com enumerate P. That means Enumerate install plugins. Just we need to see install plugins. <laughs> this is interesting. Do word this password brute force on enumerated users using triple threads. That's amazing. That means you want to try with brute force login here. That's awesome. Then um, debug output. H proxy installed. Team thumbs enumerated users. Uh, um, there is something very special here which is not listed which I like to use is a vulnerability scanner plugins for vulnerability okay, let's go to the official site so uh, this is the official site wipscan.com and then um, I just want to See the instructions, API, submit, WordPress. Let's go to WordPress. There it is, plugins. Um, I just need to see some comments. Get your free token, okay. Um, I already uh, signed up here, so I, I can get a free token, that's no issue. Um, bom, bom. I just need to see the comment for checking vulnerability for WordPress. Um, 
um, where is practice? Oh, sorry. Uh, let me just search for in the Google. WSP scan, um, find vulnerabilities. Uh, plugins, vulnerability plugins. Uh, 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 this can properly get your viewpoint of any threats. I already did. Sorry, I think I just. Uh, WP scan in GitHub. Oh. oh. Yes. Yes, 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 that's fine. Just want to see the examples. Yeah, here it is. VP only for vulnerable plugins. So that's it. Now let's find a website which is WordPress. So um example wordpress um, ecom so we're just going to search some example wordpress sites let's see uh what are the examples here e-commerce uh, website taka Let's see something this website here, which is uh, WordPress based. Are those WordPress? Are we using WordPress? Let's see. Uh, pretty easy to see. No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Let's see view. Uh, 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 uh. WP admin is not found, so it's maybe not. Or a picture not using WordPress anymore. Uh, let's see. Man, no writing. Uh, I hope they use WordPress. <laughs> No, 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 no. That is strange. Nobody using WordPress anymore. Ah, uh, pom pom pom. Oh, here yeah, must be. Let's control you. It is indeed. So this is our website. Uh, let's do vulnerability testing. So WP scan URL uh, in get. Open it in a notepad. I replace this with um, this example. We're not hacking anyone, we're just uh, doing penetration testing. I think that's actually good for him. So uh, we use VP, which means vulnerability, vulnerable plugins that we are going to test. If I'm not, if I'm correct, this is the way. Okay, so let's paste it and cut uh, it. So um, one more thing here, I need to provide the API key. So 
the word specified is actually oh aha uh -huh. that's a bit top 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 and i need to also provide the api key as well so um that's this There should be a parameter for API key. Here's my API key. Let's try to run it. Oh, here it is. I think uh, over there, there must be some instruction here. Okay, URL, variables, output, uh, pom pom. Sorry, API token. Sorry, API, that's API token, not key, but token. First API token, let's try. So uh, we are going to we are actually scanning our website for vulnerabilities, malwares, outdated plugins, etc. Not malware, outdated plugins only. So is this ethical? I think so, because we are actually finding the bugs that's available in his website, but we are not exploiting anything. We are just finding things and if he is smart he will fix it if he is not really caring about what happens here then it's someone else will hack it we know the hackers and do not use this as a hacking purpose this is only to see uh, or try kali linux for vulnerability testing you can actually apply this for your own website as well to see if there is any issues. Okay, so the report is generated. 100% um, confidence uh, found by query parameter basic detection. Okay, so the version is 4.0.1. Uh, also confident here. Then let's go to things. Uh, let's go from top. What's here? Interesting find errors. Um, that's fine. Robot.txt found uh, interesting entries. XML RPC. WordPress readme found. Um, upload directory has listing enabled. Okay. That's weird. That means anyone can just go here and see the images. Then the external WP cron seems to be enabled. WP cron.php, which should have visible that. WordPress version 5.7.2 identified latest release. Uh, okay, on the RSS generator. That's correct. WordPress theme in use unbound. This is the theme. Okay, so they have detected the theme. This is the readme file and this is the style sheet, etc. Innovating vulnerable plugin. That's what we are trying to find so easy digital download this is the plugin they're using last updated um, boom, boom. the version is out of date the latest version is 2.10.5 found by urls in home page passive detection confirmed by 404 page one vulnerability identified easy digital download is less than 2.0.3 unauthorized stripe disconnected by csrf okay so this is a vulnerability it needs to be upgraded then js composer okay location is plugin js composer the version updated uh, the version is out of date the latest version is 6.0.0 uh -huh. so this is an old plugin then we have wp bakery which is less than 6.4.1 fixed in 4.6.4.1 uh-huh 
WooCommerce. Yeah, using WooCommerce as well. You have file vulnerabilities identified. You need to check those. Apply to scan DB can be request done during this can 15 request remaining 10 okay so we have 10 requests remaining let's try something else so um username from id 1 to 10 usernames from id 10 to 20 master characters plugins uh, all plugin time comes themes only vulnerable themes all things. let's see if there's a username with 10 to 20 you 10 20 that's what search rather than vulnerable plugin let's see if we can see any user id let's see aborted enumerated argument is not a valid integer range aha uh -huh. why it's not Okay, let's try with uh, just zero to ten. If this is so, let's see. We are trying to get user IDs, and uh, uh, uh. okay so we already found two users <laughs> that interesting this is ibn hassan found the author post um of the site network sml uh, rss generator wp db api okay okay uh, that's great wordpress theme found in unbound uh, wordpress version found Upload directory. I think these are old findings. We are just wanting to see the users. This is this is the user actually. So that's it. If I open it, it should say that this is the user author is now so it is IP. amazing. So um, this is the start. I will create a series of videos on Kali Linux, especially going through all those penetration tools uh, because there are hundreds of tools here. I just want to see, I just tried with WP scan, then I will try with uh, other things as well. Um, web applications, Apache users, uh, barbecue SQL, um, I will check. Funk load, SQL injection. I think there are a lot of things on SQL injection. Uh, skip fish, SQL map, SQL ninja, W3AF, interesting. Web shag, web WF, be fast, WP scan, what web, um, what is this, what web, what web package description, CMS. What is that? Web. Uh -huh. Interesting. So I hope you get an idea what I'm going to do in coming web uh, tutorials. If you like this uh, series of uh, videos for Kali Linux, please consider and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate if you just click a button. I spent a lot of time to generate these videos create for you only to educate you do not use this on any un ill motivated uh, intention this is only for uh, educating you so that you can get uh, knowledge and um, secure your wordpress so if you have a wordpress blog or wordpress site or even web application anything using uh, these techniques you can secure so that you can stay safe from the hackers so that's my purpose I don't have any intention to hack anyone's website. 
and I don't want you to actually on purpose hack anyone. Just learn to be stay safe. So thank you. Subscribe to my channel, and I see you, I see you on the next videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.